Hi, I'm James from Golden Shiny Trading, the professional EU market agent in EU City, China. Now, this video will show you how to load all artificial flowers into one 40 GP container. Please note that a 40 GP is not a 40 high Q container. Well, 40 GP has 50 80 CBM, 40 high Q container has 60 80 CBM, so 10 CBM difference. Now, how to load a container properly is the top priority to us, which is why we never get tired of emphasizing this with our working labor because we don't want to get any complaints from our customers. Yeah, that's pretty much the goal. As a reliable sourcing agent in China, a one-stop sourcing service could definitely make you sourcing and import from China easier and simpler. Now, as you can see, our suppliers, our labors are all set. So let's get start loading. Now we already start loading as you can see and this is a supplier. We have two suppliers, uh, all artificial flowers. This supplier will purchase the 38 CBM. So about this supplier is the first supplier and this is the last day. As you can see today is the container loading. Uh, they almost finished everything yesterday. Uh, so they just descend to here directly and then load it to container also directly. All artificial flowers with different colors and uh, different designs. So how many cartons we have from this supplier? Total 131 cartons. All right, uh, CBM, total CBM is 131 CBM. So unlike other items, other container we loaded before, uh, this container is pretty much clean. Just artificial flowers, two suppliers. Uh, it's uh, very simple to us compared to other uh, containers we loaded before. All right. This is your supplier. They already arrived and start loading. I will open few cartons later so the artificial flowers can be squeezed a little bit and uh, theoretically this container has 50 80 cbm uh, we can load around up to 60 i think yeah if we load like this it's gonna be very quickly so one small truck is finished and they keep sending to here so our working labor are very professional and they know how to load check out the, those cotton boxes there will be no squeeze you know uh, we cannot leave any squeeze just to make sure we can load as many as we can so save the customers cost so they will organize like this okay one by one there will be few cbm left in this container uh, because this is the 40 gp 50 80 cbm we purchased around 50 cbm so it's very easy for us to do unlike other container we loaded before theoretically 60 80 cbm 40 high q but the customer has over 70 cbm now this is challenging to us uh, because when we need to fit all fit everything into one container to save the cost for customer but not like this today is very easy because we don't need to fit all we just need to make sure uh, those cotton boxes will be loaded very very properly uh, each other now where the supplier is sending second a small truck we load from our warehouse because we already purchased some artificial flowers and put it in the warehouse for loading so this is our warehouse we put many cargo products in our warehouse and we put a shipping mark for every customer so when we load it's very clearly uh, which products we should take check it out this is the unique shipping mark all right and we will just take all the items all the cargo all the products with that shipping mark and it just load now every cotton box has a shipping mark unique shipping mark uh, for every different customer so it will not go wrong like we will not take a customer to B customers container uh, to be honest we haven't that one time uh, one carton put in the wrong container but after that that situation that problem never happened to us 
So almost uh, those uh, snake bags are ours and we're gonna load one by one. Yeah, one cotton box is pretty big, bigger than standard box. So for one uh, 40 GP container, which is big container, and not a small container like 20 feet, we have three to four working laborers uh, are responsible for that. And they will get everything done and make sure everything loaded very properly. All right, this is our warehouse manager. He will be responsible for everything here. And his job is to make sure those goods will be received on time and organized very well for each customer. Like today, we loaded this customer's products, the cotton boxes. He's also here to make sure this cotton box belongs to this customer. So not even one cotton box will be mistakenly loaded to the container. All right, so this is pretty much his job, slowly. Yeah, gently, slowly. Even though this artificial flowers we can throw around, but uh, we don't do that, okay? Because this is the customer's products. You don't want your products, no matter fragile or very hard, to be uh, thrown the way any way they want. Uh, you don't want to do that. Yo, slowly, brother. So now we just finished 15, one five percent of this container and they get some rest and we will keep loading. And we're also waiting the trucks, the artificial flowers suppliers send their trucks to here again uh, for direct loading to this container. All right, just uh, a little bit. So if you subscribe to our YouTube channel before, uh, you probably watched a few other videos for loading container then you can recognize that those are our working labor uh, in our warehouse now we already finished the one force container all right we're waiting for the suppliers to send again to send their products to here to load it directly to the container now this is the second truck already arrived here so one supplier has 38 cdm they cannot use one truck to deliver all together at once so they have to use several trucks this is the second one so there are totally three trucks one truck already loaded this is the second truck and the third truck is on the way then we'll finish all has 1200 artificial flowers the weight per cotton box is pretty heavy uh, heavier than standard cotton boxes for cotton box like those is a little soft so we can squeeze a little hard just a little bit just to make sure when the container is shipped to customers during the shipping i mean when we load all these cotton boxes properly uh, those cotton box will be totally fixed in the container during shipping so from the all way from china to customers country it will just sit in the container tidily <laughs> Now this is the last truck, the third truck. After we loaded this one, then all the container finished the loading. So this driver is complaining they're late. Yeah, you are late, bro. All right, I'm gonna take a few cartons to run quality control. Although this is old supplier, but we still need to run quality control a uh, standard procedure. All right, now I'm in the container. I'm gonna also help them uh, load it. Actually, uh, I'm monitoring. So this is the supplier, he's helping Nelson. Right. Now as you can see, we almost finished more than half a uh, container. Now the laborer will continue putting those cotton boxes one by one without any squeeze. Actually, you can see those cotton box, if we put it here, during the shipping, no matter the container, board, vessel, after vessel, leave, uh, after the vessel arrived the destination seaport, it will sit here very tightly. No move. We don't want any cotton box move here. Unlike other container we loaded before, the products in this container are pretty much simple. It's very simple. Uh, so we can load it very fast. Faster than before. So this is the end of the <laughs> container, which is nearby the container door and we're gonna load the rest of them and then we finished so now this angle is from the truck i'm standing in the truck and uh, watch them load now this is the nearby the container door and we are planning uh load everything one by one just 
they have one meter. If the container filled with different products, different weight, different CBM, different cotton boxes, it will take slower, way slower uh, than this container. But like I said, this container is all filled with artificial flowers, so it will load very quickly. Uh, it will take only two hours right now and then we're almost finished here now this is the last uh, few cartons we're gonna put in the container nearby the container door one two three four five six seven okay seven cartons last the seven cartons uh, we just organized a few cartons nearby the container door and then the whole container will be finished perfectly those are two cartons we're gonna open and uh, check after everything is fine after uh, run quality control then we will put in that one in that space so the container are all full now this is the last two cotton boxes we'll put it in this truck because it's uh, very high uh, about a container door we'll put it in the truck and uh, use this truck to load it door to door now which is a uh, container door to truck door like that this guy is waiting here and uh, he put those two cotton box in that space on the top yeah door to door truck to truck truck to container actually so we need one labor to stand here and take these two cartons to this one to the top one yeah like this put on the top and uh, the guy on the top will organize the last uh, one nearby the container door. Yeah, add one more labor. And then squeeze the inside. Alright, now we're totally done. Alright, this is pretty much about this video loading 40 GB container. If you like our content, please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So in that way, you could get latest notification once we release new videos about our one-stop sourcing service in the future. If you have any question or inquiries, please find our WhatsApp number and email in the video description or you can leave comments below the video description box so we could reply to you immediately. Alright, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.